Greetings, fellow moviegoers, and welcome to Movie Central, the place to talk about movies, two shows based on movies, stories based on movies, games based on movies, and rides based on movies. I'm your host, Mr. CCS, and this is my pet gorilla, George. Since last week I covered one of the biggest films to be released by Disney, I'm going to be talking about the next big project that they worked on that has gone on to be one of the most beloved and influential animated films of all time. But where do I start? The magic of Disney was always centered around creating magical stories for people to cherish forever. And over those past 55 years of animated films from 1937 to 1992, they most of the time succeeded. But it wasn't until the year 1994 when Disney unleashed one colossal hit that is still, to this day, considered their greatest film to date by audiences and critics. So much so, that when a remake came out a little over two years ago, people flocked to the theaters just to see it. But this film must have been something big, right? Oh, I wish you would have known beforehand, as today we are of course talking about The Lion King. This Disney animated feature follows the adventures of the young lion Simba, voiced by Jonathan Taylor Thomas. The heir of his father Mufasa, voiced by Darth Vader himself, James Earl Jones. Simba's wicked uncle Scar, voiced by the wickedly talented Jeremy Irons, plots to usurp Mufasa's throne by luring father and son into a stampede of wildebeests. But Simba escapes and only Mufasa is killed. Simba returns as an adult, voiced by the guy with the greatest day off under his belt, Matthew Broderick, to take back his homeland from Scar with the help of his friends Timon, voiced by Nathan Lane, and Pumbaa, voiced by Ernie Sabella. The story is very similar to Shakespeare's Hamlet, only with talking animals from Africa. But, you know, that doesn't matter because right off the bat, this movie obviously is one of Disney's best animated movies to date. But what else makes this movie great? Well, let's find out. Each and every character has an arc in this. Simba grows from a boy with big dreams to a scared soul to a carefree goofball to a fearless king. His arc works on every level, which is why he is great. Nala, voiced by Nikita Kalame and Moira Kelly, grows from a carefree and brave friend to the brave mistress of the Pride Lands. And she is definitely a strong female character, no questions asked. As for Mufasa, well, despite the fact that he is voiced by cinema's greatest villains actor, and the fact that he's only on screen for 30 minutes of the movie, he still leaves an impression, as even dead, he still helps Simba through a difficult journey. Then we have our villain. Scar is, yet again, one of Disney's deliciously evil villains that you just love to watch from beginning to end. And Jeremy Irons' performance is absolutely pitch perfect, as you can imagine. Like Aladdin, the side characters are just as good as the main ones. Sarabi, Rafiki, Timon and Pumbaa, and the hyenas are extremely memorable and by far the best side characters created by Disney. Okay. That's enough about the characters. How's the animation? Well, it's perfect. This animation just never ages. True, some shots are replaced for some remasters, but it still looks really great, even after 27 years. As for the music, it was composed wonderfully by Hans Zimmer, who gives a sense of wonder, danger, sadness, and many more emotions when needed. And all the songs are iconic. Circle of Life, I Just Can't Wait to Be King, Be Prepared, Hakuna Matata, and Can You Feel the Love Tonight are just all classic Disney songs everyone needs to listen to. So if you couldn't tell, The Lion King is definitely a classic example of how to do an animated film, with doing everything right. I can't do this movie justice, so get over to the biggest, loudest screen possible in your house and watch this masterpiece. It earns a 10 out of 10, obviously. Long live the king. Well, that's it for this review. 
feel free to give me your thoughts below and tune in next week when we start our Pixar journey. With that said, my name is Mr. CCS, this is Movie Central, and that, my friends, is a wrap. See you next week.